Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beard Canics Garage. Today we are at Riley Sport Engineering Academy and we are going to add an oil cooler to the S3. Something you need if you're going to go stage 3 to make sure your engine stay cool and stay safe. Also, uh, if you're just going to track it, it's probably required too. They do get a bit hot when you are immersed for a while. Anyway, let's run the intro and check out the kit and install it. is the kit so you've got obviously a cooler a bunch of brackets to help you mount it then you actually have a complete all filter system inside the kit so these parts are going to be where basically your current oil filter is and the all oil filter get removed the old plastic container get removed and we are left with something a lot sexier you got uh, these plates that get sandwiched and then a couple of uh, tubes so that you can go to your cooler. Inside you've got a serviceable oil filter and so you remove the top here. It's a reverse thread so you know you basically turn this way to open it up and uh, yeah every now and then clean the filter and basically the way this works this goes where your uh, current oil filter go this goes on top and this goes there and there and then your filters go on top you're going to need a specific part if your car is pre-2015 and it wasn't updated i'll put it on the screen and i put a link in the description below if your car is uh, post-2015 normally it should already be in in mine it's already in also for the cooler plenty of time you can either remove the bumper and try to mount it here below by attaching the bracket to the bash bar it's an absolute nightmare you could attach it here to the vent there is actually a little bit here where you could get your tube to the top personally because i'm going to have a custom air box here and stuff i've removed this and i'm basically going to go down here go through the mesh and have the cooler over the mesh you know i think it'll uh, give it a bit of a rad look anyway with the pipe coming out of the mesh to go okay so remove your engine covered mine was already off and then what you want to do is a 32 mil i've already done it and you can basically loosen this up can take a old system out we won't be reusing this but you know make sure not to make a mess with it okay so now we take these bad boys i actually put a bit of oil on the seal i should do the same just put it in there 27 mil socket and snug now we take our sandwich plate obviously seal down basically the up so you can see the little dot and you should be able to see the arrows all right now this little guy which aligns everything as well Again, 17 mil. Yeah, you're going to want to use two hands though, because basically you want to keep the orientation of those this way so they don't go this way and then end up crashing this cable here. So, yeah, so I'm just going to keep it tight again, just nice and snug. Alright, now we put on our fancy filter.
All right. So next, what you want to do is obviously pass your pipe. I've put the short one to the arrows that exit, and the long one to the arrows that come in. So they're a bit tricky to put on. A uh, 27 mil spanner you're going to need for those. And instead of removing the bumper and stuff, I went here basically. So we end up mounting the radiator here at the front, you know, keto style. But saving hours in like removing the bumper, trying to make holes in like <laughs> metal that is like so hard, you're going to screw so many stuff. I reckon though, if you wanted to, you could come down this way as well and probably mount it this way and just pass it down again. But yeah, go this way and still not have to remove uh, the front bumper. The bumper will come off at some point when we do aero anyway, so can always revise where that cooler goes. But for now, save me a bunch of time and that's where it's going to go. So now I'm going to look at mounting bracket and I was going to work on there. I might even zip tie it for now. This is a bracket setup for your cooler. So basically you want those little guys underneath, four of them. Then you want those little bracket here, the branded bracket. And then you want the branded plate at the back. Hardware, 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 hardware. And then you couple of bracket right underneath everything. Shook. That's your full assembly. I'm not going to go with that. I'm just going to zip tie it for now. But at least you know what the bracket setups look like. Obviously, after you can always bend those or whatever. Because, as usual, for racing lines, those will be mostly designed for um, the golf. But I reckon the front bash bar might be the same. But otherwise, that's how it is on mine. I kind of like the look, you know, it's actually really sturdy in place by just how rigid the pipes and fittings are. So all I'm going to do is put some zip ties there, there, there and there for now. And that will do for now. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to double check everything is nice and tight. And then we shall run the car and see if I done it right. as well, I mean, apart from the bonnet on boot open obviously, but so far so good. Also, I'm going to add half a liter of oil because obviously we have increased the capacity and uh, aid said half a liter should be about enough for the system, so that's what I would recommend you add to. And here you go guys, all done. Uh, you know, I was a bit not sure, conf you know, confidence level were not that high, considering, you know, not a specialist, and it does seem a bit involved with, uh, uh, you know, sandwich plate and all of that, but no issue whatsoever. Just remember when tightening, make it nice and snudge, force a tiny little bit, that's about it. Not too hard, you know, or anything like that. So, yeah, that is one done. Next, I'm going to do the... Um, old catch can and uh, the little plate so we'll get rid of that really ugly PCV system thing and make the engine bay look a bit, uh, you know, sexier. Well, when you put the engine cover off at least, right? Uh, but anyway, 
If it's your first time here, subscribe, tons of uh, content about this car on the channel already and tons more coming. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, or, you know, don't if you didn't like the video. And, uh, you know, yeah, see you the next time, guys. I don't know why I'm rumbling, but anyway, bye.